related now i feel like a little relation with that because i was asking about the same question of anger uh, two three days before i had an incident that somebody came and just touched my flower so it happened that i didn't even think about anything and just bashed over that lady like anything you how did you do that so it was like out of total thing that it should not be done i don't know what i was doing um inside i was feeling like how could i do that the same time it was not tolerable so it was both like the mind was thinking like uh, if it was really I, not tolerable why do you blame yourself for getting angry no no i'm not blaming about anger i'm just saying that this doesn't happen uh, why is the incident still sitting in your mind yes. surely I'm, there is guilt surely you are blaming yourself do you remember everything that has happened over the last 5 days then why do you remember this one in particular because you do not like that you got angry it violates the image that your teachers and parents and all the nice books provided you the nice lady does not get angry why does the nice lady not get angry everything has its place in existence why must she not get angry why there's a kind of morality that i was thinking that we should be nice nice speaking when we do not know the essence of something then the subtle is crudely modified into the cross and the cross is taken as the truth so a great one comes and he talks of non violence we do not really understand violence so what do we do we take the apparent characteristics of non violence and label all of them as the essential because it is easy to follow that kind of behavior do not ask why did i get angry ask why does guilt arise why this divided mind why can't my anger be complete and if there is completeness would not the anger be transformed does not resistance to anger give fuel to the anger in trying to control yourself are you not giving yourself energy to act in the same way that's the basic principle of duality what you try to control you give energy to that i do not want to get angry i do not want to get angry i do not want to get angry and you are constantly thus thinking of anger. that's quite a nice and cunning way of thinking of anger anger is attractive but i have been told by my 
moral values teacher that anger is bad but anger is seductive anger is seductive anger attracts so now i think of anger through the other route i think of anger by telling myself so there is the lustful man he thinks of women by saying all the time women are wonderful women are nice attractive good to have and then there is the moral man who has read a few scriptures he thinks of women in the other way what is the other way bad. women are bad it's a nice way of remaining involved with women you look at her look at her look at her see how bad she looks look at her see how she is walking look at her hips no no you, please look at her hips <coughs> she has no dignity at all see look at her i say no look closely pay attention see how shameless she is and you can even go close to her and say madam do you see how deep your cleavage is and if you don't know let me measure and give you a figure i condemn this shamelessness these kinds of clothes are not appropriate at all so i command that you get rid of them right now <laughs> and here are my five scriptures they are clearly saying that lust is bad that is why i don't want you to wear these clothes please get rid of them and if you don't want to get rid of them you can have my coat when can i come to your home to take my coat that Or would you come over to my place to deliver it? That's the basic premise of morality. When somebody gives you something, you ought to return it. <laughs>